What's going on everybody? Welcome to the Elite Suite and today I'm going to show you how to do the Musa Dembele squad building challenge for the cheapest solution. He is the footies winner for the center mids. A lot of people thought Renato Sanchez would win. I was pretty on the fence with it as well. But as I mentioned a few days ago, Musa Dembele had a huge chance of winning. So if you picked up those outer vaults, those canes, those Ericsson, Vertongans, and etc, etc, you're making a ton of profit and should have some of the cards on your transfer list already for this Musa Dembele squad building challenge. So let's hop into it. But before we do, if you're new, all I ask in return, hit that subscribe button. It's easy, it's free. Help me help you. Daily squad building challenge, guys. Trading tips, investment ideas, especially when FIFA 17 or FIFA 18, that is, is coming up. I uploaded a video already on FIFA 18 this morning on how to trade at the beginning to get you up to about 100,000 coins in the first couple of days. So be sure to check that out. That'll help you a ton. But we need an 85 rating and a 60 chemistry al uh, along with one footies nominee player. So we're going to be using Dembele. You can also use Florenzi. If you only did Renato Sanchez, firstly, that's really dumb. Secondly, you're going to have to spend a lot more. I just use, like, buy if you still have them. Try to get an 82 rated in here. Uh, you might have to switch around a couple players, but we're going to be using Dembele here because most of you guys should have this Dembele card. So let's go ahead and get started. At goalkeeper, we're going with Consigli, and he is an 83 rated card, so as many 82s and 83s as I could possibly go with. Obviously, the 82s are about discard price. The 83s are about 2,800 coins, so those are really cheap cards. You don't want to be going with too many of those, you know, over 85 rated cards, but obviously, you have to go with a few. Then, at left back, we're going with Kjer. He's close to discard price, and I went with him because he's one of the cheapest 82s, and he links with Ericsson. Then, we've got Vertonghen at center back. We were able to pick up that Vertonghen for 3,700. He might rise a little bit, given the fact he gets a hyperlink with the Dembele at midfield at uh, right center back. We're going with Barzagli here. He's the first player that we've got from Calchawa. He's 86 rated. He's a little bit expensive, that's for sure. About 17.5k for that 86 Barzagli, but we only go with three players 85 and above in this entire squad. So he's one of those expensive players, and the total price of the squad is going to be about 90,000 coins, and I'd say a good one uh, or two-thirds of that price is just from the three uh, higher rated players. And then we've got Viviano at right back, another pretty close to discard card, about 1,200 coins. Then we've got Erickson at left center midfielder. He is a uh, pretty cheap 85. In terms of 85 rated, we got him for 9,000 coins. He's obviously going to rise a few thousand coins, given the fact that he gets a strong link with Dembele over the next few hours. Then we've got Kazorla at right center mid. He's about 18k along with Barzagli because he is 86 rated. Then at left wing, we are going with Harry Kane, another 85 rated. We are able to get Kane for about 10,000 coins. And since he is Spurs, again, he's going to rise a couple thousand coins, but hopefully it won't be too bad. Then we're going with the 88 rated Iguain. Now the 88 rated Iguain is about 28,000, while the 89 is about 32,000. Now what you could do instead of this is go with the 89 Iguain and then possibly uh, uh, like get an 85 rated midfielder other than Kazorla. Um, but the way it is right now, at least at the time I'm recording this video, it's cheaper to just go 88 Iguain, save the 4,000 coins on him, uh, rather than try to get an 85 and save 4,000 coins on that. That's just uh, how it is right now. It might change for when you guys are watching the video, but... Final player, it's going to be Mario Mandzukic, a very cheap 83 rated player to finish the squad off. As I said, it's going to be about 90 to 95,000 coins to complete this squad building challenge. I don't know if it's 100% worth it. I do like Dembele's SBC card. He does have four star skills, but he does only have that two star weak foot. So let's go ahead and grab this card real quick, and I'll show you guys the entire stats of Musa Dembele's footy winner card. So you've got 81 pace. He is a part of the Hullet Club. I was skeptical on whether he would be a part of the Hullet Club if they gave him a footy's winner, but they did give him that big defense boost to get him there. He's got 80 defense, 88 dribble, 84 shot, 85 passing, and 90 physical. That actually does look like a brilliant card, especially with the four-star skills, but the two-star weak foot is a little bit rough. Um, but other than that, it's a pretty solid card. I'd say the 95,000 coins, probably worth it. Um... Two-star weak foot might have a little bit of a problem with your, if you're trying to pass it to the right wing with the right foot, but uh, other than that, that is, a, that is a solid card. I'll probably actually be using this card, so that's it for today's video. As I said at the beginning, make sure to subscribe if you're new. Drop a like if it did help you out, and check out the video that I uploaded this morning on FIFA 18 trading. It is a big, big video. That's going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed your stay at the Elite Sweet and peace out!